Right, hello everybody. It's Saturday and I thought, you know what? I'm off work, let's have a waffle. So just a few updates uh, I wanted to cover and show you what I'm looking at. Um, I'll be out again probably tonight, finalizing my thoughts on the Workos FC11. This one is in the 4,000K range. I think there is a 5,000K that I've seen, especially on uh, Amazon. Really impressed with this, 20 bucks or so. You know, you, you can't really ask for more. Um, I've thrown some of the stuff away here, um, but really impressed so far, um, you know, uh, it's using the, I think it's the LH351 D by Samsung. Very nice emitter, high CRI, which I was impressed with. You may or, not, um, you may, or may not see it well on this, but it's a very warm tint. It's, it is 4,000 key, I've tested that. And the CRI is, you know, well above um, 90. Um, hi to Josie, is it Josie 52? Hello there, hello mate. Um, he's in the chat there, nice to see you. Okay, so we'll turn that off. Um, pretty decent. Um, it comes with uh, two modes. It's got a group one and a group two. So I think the standard, which is they're called group one, which is how it comes out of the box. If you click and hold, it's it's step ramping. So it goes through them all. You've got uh, equal, low, medium, high, and then turbo. And it goes all the way up to 1300. If you don't like that, you can um, turn it off. I think it's three seconds from off. Let's have a look. Yeah, three seconds from off. And then click and hold and it'll ramp up. And then you can ramp down again. So you've got ramping if you wanted, but at 20 bucks, that's pretty impressive. I'll turn that back just for testing later on. Yeah, so that's back on step mode. So if we do that, it should rotate through them again. It's, yeah, it's cycling through them. So very impressed, nice warm tint, being out um, in sort of nature environments, but I've been testing it now. The only problems, that, the initial problems, and this isn't a full review, I'll, I'll be doing my initial thoughts on a full review, obviously, eventually, but anodization is coming off rather rapidly. It makes me wonder whether this is made by Sofern. They also suffer from that, but this seemed very rapid, and um, it's not a deep carry clip, but it's okay. Um, but, but I'll get onto that with the proper reviews, obviously, when I get around them. Also, other things I've had a look at, I had one of the followers on uh, Instagram was saying, you need to have a look at this, you need to have a look at this, it's right up your street. So it is a all perspectives induction headlamp. Now, you know, I've got loads of headlamps, loads of them. Um, and this one, uh, you know, they say it's for running and fishing. Well, we'll see about that. It's got a carbon and an XPE3. I didn't even know there was a three. I know that uh, two, sorry. I know there was a three. Um, it looks, I don't know why he looks so angry. He looks really pissed off there, but never mind. Um, it reminds me of the head things that they use in, uh, is it Aliens by James Cameron, where they've got the little camera on the side of the helmet there. Uh, but I'll have a look at that. Um, I'm not going to do a full review here, but I just want to have a quick look because it looks a bit... Oh, do you know what? I thought that was all going to be rubber. It's not. It's rubber, but then with a coating. So let's have a quick look at that. So that's for your, your charging cable there. So there's not a lot. There's not a lot to it, really. Um, you've got this. Now, this is a cob setup, so it's not not your standard LEDs that you get. So there's like a strip of them. I wonder if this will turn on. Yeah, oh, it does. Yeah, so there's your cob. Oh, pretty bright, actually. Do you know what? I thought this was going to be a load of rubbish. That's not. Still flexible, though, so that goes around the forehead. That's probably good for working on the car and things like that. That looks like a cool uh, tint there on that. And then I wonder if you press it again. How do you get this on? Now, this you're supposed to you do that or something or you press something i don't know i'll have to ah there's the modes and then there's your side mode so if you're running i presume that's maybe it's better now what's this here that's interesting does that come out i'll obviously cover that in a full review but looks interesting it's rubberized um now i don't remember but i don't think it was fully waterproof so there's your you got cob at 100 percent only 350 lumens not not ideal but you get 2.5 hours out of that so that's on your strip section on that one. So that's pretty good at 100%. And then you've got Cobb 40%, 150 lumens, five hours, pretty decent. Cobb flash, I don't know why you'd want that flash. And that's just going to annoy everyone because that's going to go everywhere. Uh, unless you lost at sea or something, that's probably why he's angry. Uh, and then you've got XP at 100, 100, only 150 lumens on that. That's not a lot, is it? Let's have a look. Hmm, looks like a, is that an orange peel reflector down there? It looks like, no, no, it's a smooth reflector and it's a tiny little emitter down there. Sorry for, the focus is poor here because I'm streaming, so it's probably only in about 720, so you may or may not see that. Uh, we'll check that though during the review, so let's turn that off. It also has this here. Now that looks like a Wi-Fi thing, but I think that is some sort of induction setup. Uh, now what's this? Is this a button? What on earth is that? Is that where the battery goes? Uh, hi, Josie. Um... Thanks for the comment there, mate, just so you can see it, you see it, you can see it pretty good. Thanks for that, because obviously I, when I'm streaming, it drops to about 720. Most of my videos are in 4K. I uh, hope you're doing okay, Josie, there. 
So we're pretty decent there, but we'll we'll have a look at that when I get round it. The other things I was going to look at, because this is just a Saturday waffle, um, I was sent. Now, in regards to what I was sent, I'll just tell you, um, for my charging purposes, and you can see I've used these for a long time, here is my Nightcore USM4. The reason I got this was because it does the really long, even if you've got a protected 21700, it still fits in this charger, and I've had no problems with this. It does quick charging, even though it's using the older micro USB interface there. It's not a type C, but as long as you put that in a quick charger compatible, I think it's quick charge two or three, um, it will give you enough juice to this unit to do fast charging or their implementation of fast charging anyway. So I've never had any problems with this, doesn't overheat. Then what I did was, I thought, well, I've got millions of batteries. So after that, I went to get the Xtar VC8. The reason I got this one was because the Grey Fallon or Grey Fawn or whatever, which is also eight, which will do one amp on all of them, even though they're all populated. This only does half an amp on all of them if they're populated, but that's more than enough for me, you know. Um, it was it was something like 70 quid i'm not paying that whereas i was able to get this on special for i think it was 25 quid or something it's about 32 dollars 31 dollars very impressed with it i use it all the time as you can see dust everywhere because this is on top of my table at all times um, and this uses the type c it doesn't have like a, a dc input or anything and even if they're all populated, you can get about half an amp on all of them, which is very fast. And if you're only charging a few, it'll bump that up to, I think you, you can get about two amps on some of them. I wouldn't recommend that on the smaller cells, obviously. Only save that for the really large 21700s or the 26, uh, is it 26350s? I, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. It's been a long, a long day already. I've been doing some editing, but I had no problems with this one. So in that regards, I was sent, and I'll put that to one side. I was sent by XStore. Boosh, they sent me this direct from China. So this is the XStar uh, VC8 Plus. So I had the VC8, as you can see there, covered in dust. Sorry about that. Um, never had any problems. So you're probably thinking, okay, what what's the point in getting the Plus then if you've already got that? Well, I think it charges at a higher rate. So let's have a quick read of this. So it says here, Type-C input supports a quick charge three. Now, if, you, if you're thinking, what's quick charge? What's this? What's that? Go and look at my video on that I did on USBs. That explains what quick charge is, where that comes from, what the implementation is, and how you get that with different cables or the output. Um, so you get that, and then it'll do three amps for a single slot. That's very high. I think this one will do around two, uh, two amps, um, which is high anyway. So there's, certain, there's a lot of cells I wouldn't want to charge at that rapid rate because you're going to shorten the life, but I will do some testing on that. And it has five optional charging currents, um, so it'll do 0 0.25 there. Sorry if you can't see that, but I'm on, I'm on a reduced upload here. Half an amp, one amp, two amp, all the way to three. Very impressive. Um, LCD, all round charging information. So I, I'm looking forward to looking at this. Um, display wise it looks exactly the same as the one I've got uh, let's see if there's anything on the back here um, zero at ah, now it's got zero volt activation what that's for is if your battery's been let to go far too low you've basically knacked it it's probably gonna you know it's gonna end up with, you're not gonna be able to use it under normal, normal circumstances it will go through a system and cycle where it will try and reactivate that uh, although in you know, in reality, the the life you know the lifetime of that cell will be dropped, but it will try that. Um, it's got three stage charging, which generally means it sort of boosts the load through, then slows down as it gets towards a higher higher capacity. There, it will precisely cut off at four point two. Um, brilliant. Um, so it's got automatic cut off. It's got current buffering technology, which keeps batteries from violent currents. What on earth are they on about? That must be if you go in a canoe down a you know, Colorado River or something like that. I'm joking, of course. Uh, reverse polarity protection, short circuit, overcharge, overheat protection. Even though they have all of this, you know, reverse did a little uh, short circuit, overcharge, over. My advice would be, if you're charging batteries, make sure you're in the house at the same time. Uh, I'm not saying that x are a bad company or any other company are bad, but I would personally not leave batteries charging because there's lithium in them, you know, it, accidents happen and you know and if accidents happen there could be a fire and you don't want that but it's nice to see they've got all those protections so i will be checking that when i get the chance and also last thing and then i'll let you go um where's the box i did have one i'm looking at the now it's not apple it's opal 
so they're definitely not copying Apple there. Um, I'm looking at a piece of kit which will help me um, look at Lux, which is the output of a light, Flicker, which is the, you know, like pulse width modulation and things like that, the CCT, or basically CRI. So, you know, it, it's going to allow me to check different things. The Light Master. So I'm going to become a Light Master by using this. Uh, I've used it for some initial testing and it's pretty decent. So you can charge it up there and then boosh out it comes and then you can see it's trying to pair with the uh, phone there and then you've got the, the two meters here so very impressed with it so far and i'll be using it on the fc11 um so unless there are any comments it's time for me to go and make some dinner because i'm in the uk here so it's about dinner time or midday um, and i haven't eaten yet today i might have an, another coffee but i've got a lot of editing to do so i'm going to be editing all day so if you want to get a hold of me um get me in the discord channel that i've got that live all times and i get a lot of um hookups from people and people will send me comments and questions and I don't mind helping that's the whole part of this channel I'm here to help people so if you have questions I'll do my best and recommendations and things like that and I'm also getting a, a load of um, ex-army people uh, contact me so Josie's saying have fun editing I didn't even know you had a discord channel yes Josie uh, so Josie 52 if you go to the description on most of my videos and it might be in the about uh, the about section. I'll actually add it to the description of this video once I've finished live streaming. Um, I've got a Discord channel. Pop in there. Um, all the sections are open, bar one. I think one is for the YouTube supporter section, and that's only for people who are uh, paid channel members. Um, but I don't hide anything that 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 from people. You've got access to everything else. Um, it's it's still in early days because you know I have got a full time job. Um, and I work out all the time and I've got other commitments. So I'm not, but I am in there at all, all times and it's on the phone there. Um, so if you're after anything, I'll do my best to help. Although um, I was looking at some statistics, I think it was between 3,000, no, was it 3,500 to 4,000 comments I replied to last time uh, on the channel. Get a fried egg Sony, says Simon Cooper. Well, thank you very much. Now, the only problem with a fried egg Sony is when you bite into it, all the yolk goes flying out the bottom. So should I wear like a, a baby's bib or something like that or a wetsuit? I, I might try that. Um, nice to see you, Simon. I hope you're doing okay, mate. Um, I'm just having a bit of a Saturday waffle. Um, so like I say, so pop in at the Discord if you want to try and get me. Um, I'm on Instagram. You, uh, you can hit me up there. Um, I thumbs up from Simon there. Nice to see you, mate. Um, and I'm going to leave you to it because I've been on... I, I try to keep these Saturday waffles short and unless anyone's got any comments. I mean, the only other thing I can really cover is... Let's get them. Here's the lights that I was using to compare with that FC11. So I'm going to compare it to the BLF E6. This is the SE. So very bright. Well, if I can get on the right mode there, very bright. So about 1600 with a FET driver on an 18650. Um, there's the SC31 Pro by Sofern. Now look, we'll just compare that look. See how the Sofern's watch. If I can find a good example where the paint comes off quite rapidly. This isn't a very good example, actually, because it's doing all right, but on that high spot there, where the, where the nail of my thumb is, you can see the anodization is coming off, and you can see the metal underneath. It's actually a little bit worse on the uh, FC11. Can you see that? It's, it's almost smoothed off. Uh, it's come off more rapidly, but this is very, very budget-orientated. Now, I'm going to compare it to the super-wide beam on the D1, uh, as you can see, look, look how wide that is. Look, look, it's all the way up there, and it's all the way down there. Very, very wide, but to be fair, this is using an orange peel, and that's using a TIR. So Josie's saying, I'd love an FW3A in all your comparisons, since that's my light, but you can't do that for everyone. You'd be comparing a thousand lights. You're right. Um, you know, I do my best. Um, and John Taylor saying, afternoon, just got here. What are you showcasing today? Well, John, I'll do a quick recap for you because I appreciate the fact that you've just turned up there. I don't want you, you, you having to sort of go backwards. I was looking at, um, I'm going to look at this light with a man with an angry face on it. Um, it looks like he's lost at sea. Now, it's interesting. It's flexible. So you've got these cob LEDs on it, which is very interesting. Not a lot of output on this, but it looked pretty bright when I tested it. And it also has... Yeah, side, very small. It also almost reminds me of the uh, Astrolux A01, the tiny little keychain light. But I'll show you. So that's pretty bright, look. Look at that. White light, but bright. And then you've got, let's have a look. Press that again. And I think that's, what, what mode's that? So you've got 100%, which is 350 lumens, two and a half hours. And then you've got Cobb at 40%. That's 150 lumens, five hours. And then how do you get this side light on? You press that button. Ah, there you go. And then you've got that 
Now, why did that turn off? I wonder if this is the hand thing, because I've seen you can wave your hand and it goes on. Interesting. I wonder if it's some sort of let or do you just press that? I'll do that in the full review, but um, John, I just wanted to show you that. It is bright, ah, you're useful, and you, I mean, to be fair, um, you know, John Taylor, you're right, because I would use this for working on the car or something like that. Those cobs give you a lovely diffuse beam, it's, it, it, it's pretty, pretty decent look. There is no basic hotspot, that's pretty decent, and I like the way it's flexible. Not that my head's that shape, obviously, but it's head-shaped. So very interesting. So let's turn that off. Uh, and also, uh, I'll just quickly keep you up to speed, mate. I was looking at something by Opel here. Uh, I'm going to be using this, um, but I'm not going to go into this now. But I'll be using that for testing tints, CRIs, and uh, looks and flickers and things like that. Um, uh, John, saying, where do you get them from? Are you on a, now, are you talking about this headlamp? Because someone on Instagram said, you need to have a look at this. So I bought that. Um, it was only about... Uh, 10 quid or something and I thought I'm gonna have to test that because people are on about it I got this from Germany and I'll also be looking at Xtar were kind enough to send me boosh look at the size of that doesn't even fit in frame the VC8 plus I'm gonna be looking at that because as I explained earlier I've used the VC8 for many years now look just to prove it look at the dust Look at that dust. He must never tidy up. What a scumbag. Look at that. True. Um, but I, I use that and my night call. I got this because it takes the very, very long. Even the protected 21700 cells really, really enjoy them. So got them. I'm going to test it. Difference wise, um, this will, I think this does, I think it's two amps maximum. But when they're all covered, I think they go down to about half an amp per one because it kind of sustain that for all of this all of the slots whereas on this one it'll do three amps which i wouldn't recommend on smaller batteries that's just my personal opinion um it's got quick charge three i think it, it's got some sort of adapter that comes with it as well i'm not sure so if you want to zoom in and pause it there's your there's your specs there and there it is in german for the german because i get a lot of german uh, viewers so hello to the german viewers there or guten tag and then french i don't get a lot from france um, bonjour, uh, Italian. What do they say? Is it Rivederci? Or oh, no, that means good night. Um, I can't remember. I'm not that good. Um, but it's from China. So I'll be checking them out. So unless anyone's got any um, pressing issues, um, I'm going to go and get some food. Um, according to Simon Cooper, I'm going to have a fried egg sandwich, which sounds re repulsive. Uh, and I'm going to get on with editing because I'll probably be doing that for the rest of the day. Um, John's saying those X stars are quite good. I've got four tier. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the four tier like, and which model have you got? Because I got a four tier for a family member. Now, which version was it? It was a something plus, and it's the one where it has like the little wheels. Um, sorry, I missed that comment. There it was from someone in Taiwan, I think. And um, so uh, nice to see you. So Ni Hao, um, if you could just sort of send me another message, I'll get your name there. Um, yeah, I've got a one, it's a four tier and it, it has it, on the display, it almost looks like a little wheel and it has a, a thing that goes and it says like, you know, w w what voltage it's at and how much amps it's pushing through. But yeah, I, when I buy for family, I always get XTOR because they're great and I've never had any problems. Uh, VC8 wise, I've never had any problems. So I'm looking forward to having a look at the plus version and I think that will be better. Um, so there you go. So um, never had any problems with that and it's done a good job. So put that on one side. So I'm going to do a runner. Um, hello to everybody, including the guy from Wales, the guy from, uh, I think it was Taiwan. And it's, it's nice to, to get to chat to people. And if you want to catch me, I'll be editing all day, but you know try and get me on insta send me a message or get me on the discord server because it's free it's free for everyone you can get in there i think there's only one section lopped off which is for channel members um so thank you very much for joining me i hope everyone has a nice weekend and thank you goodbye